Shihan Rudy Crosswell began his martial arts training just outside of New York City at the age of 13. The year was 1960, and his first dojo offered the arts of Ishinryu Karate and Judo. He went on to study Shotokan and Chitoryu Karate during this period, before joining the U.S. Air Force in 1965. During his first three years with the U.S. military, he studied Shorinryu, Tangsu Do, and Gojuryu Karate. Shihan Crosswell was awarded his first black belt in the art of Gojuryu Karate in 1967, having already embarked on what was to become a lifetime of dedication to traditional martial arts. In 1968, destiny favored Shihan Crosswell with a rare wartime assignment to the U.S. Air Force Base in Fuchu, Japan. While living just outside Tokyo, he met and became a student of the legendary Soke Shogo Kuniba and Soke Teruo Hayashi. Though not accustomed to having foreign students, these two master instructors generously provided their eager American protege with detailed and extensive knowledge of Motobuha Shitoryu Karate and Okinawan weapons. Driven to assimilate as much martial arts knowledge and skill as possible before leaving the country, Shihan Crosswell spent hours training nearly every day, chauffeuring his Japanese sensei around town, sleeping on dojo floors, and commuting tirelessly between Tokyo and Osaka to soak up every piece of information from them that he could, both in and out of the dojo. During his years overseas, Shihan Crosswell not only studied day and night from these renowned martial arts masters, but also found the time and energy to run the Seishin Kai Motobuha organization's only American branch dojo. In 1969, he and his all-American GI team shocked the nation by taking third place in Kumite at the All Japan Seishin Kai National Championships, shattering the stereotype that only Japanese nationals were truly capable of mastering the art of traditional karate. It was to be one of many outstanding accomplishments that would make Shihan Crosswell instrumental in elevating the status of foreign-born traditional martial artists both in Japan and around the world. After several years of intense study and training, Shihan Crosswell was finally ordered to return to the United States in 1971. In honor of his achievements in Japan, Shogo Kuniba awarded him a fourth Don ranking and sensei certificate in Motobuha Shitoryu Karate, as well as a first Don ranking in Kobudo. Undeterred by the frigid winters and conservative rural culture, Shihan Crosswell promptly set up a traditional martial arts dojo in the unlikely town of Minot, North Dakota, where he had been sent to complete his military career. In addition to teaching dozens of students there, including Stephen Banchek, now a notable Uechigyu master, he served as an assistant professor at Minot State University, teaching the history of karate and Japanese bushido to students and faculty alike. Never pausing in his own intense training, Shihan Crosswell was also recognized as state kata champion during his first years back in the States. In 1973, Shihan Crosswell completed his military duty and moved to Phoenix, Arizona, where he founded the Arizona Budokan. Hungry for ongoing guidance from his beloved sensei, he promptly formed the United States Shitoryu Karate Association and arranged for Soke Teruo Hayashi to visit and tour the member dojos in America each year. In addition to Soke Hayashi's annual visits, which often involved dozens of hours of marathon one-on-one -on -one training with his loyal American student, Soke honored Shihan Crosswell with special training in both Shitoryu Karate and Kobudo during his several trips back to Japan over the next decade. In 1980, Shihan Crosswell again challenged the previously unquestioned supremacy of Japanese martial artists by taking his Arizona Budokan team to Japan to compete in the World Hayashiha Championships that year. His small group of Arizona kids and adults garnered numerous awards in kata, kumite, and kobudo events, with one of his brown belt students beating out a sea of young Japanese black belts to win first place in junior kata competition. Once again, this American-born traditional martial artist had made a powerful statement. In 1985, Soke Tero Hayashi awarded Rudy Crosswell the title of Shihan, or Master Level Instructor, along with a sixth on ranking in Hayashiha Shitoryu Karate. Two years later, the legendary Kobudo Master celebrated Shihan Crosswell's achievements in Okinawan weapons by granting him an unprecedented fourth on ranking in Kenshinryu Kobudo, the highest rank that Soke had so far bestowed in the art. In 
1992, Shihan Crosswell was awarded a sixth on ranking in Kobudo from the renowned Okinawan master Yuichi Kuda. In an effort to further publicize traditional Budo arts, he became a primary contributor and editor-in-chief of Budo Dojo magazine that same year. The new magazine catered to a world now hungry for reliable information on authentic martial arts and reached a wide, multinational audience during its highly successful run. It was also in 1992 that Shihan Crosswell was first introduced to Kenzo Mabuni, the second son of the founder of Shito Ryu. Shortly thereafter, Shihan Crosswell began to host and train with Soke Mabuni on regular visits to the U.S., efforts that led to a 7th Dan rank in Seito Shito Ryu, as well as a Shihan certificate and membership in the exclusive Seito Shito Ryu Shihan Kai. fifth consecutive decade of unbroken martial arts training, the world began to take notice of the vast amounts of knowledge, experience, and skill that Shihan Crosswell had accumulated over the years. The International Seibukan Martial Arts Association, headquartered in Kyoto, Japan, recognized his contributions to both the art of Shitoryu Karate and Okinawan Kobudo by awarding him the ultimate rank of 10th Dan Hanshi in Shitoryu Karate and 9th Dan Kyoshi in Okinawan Kobudo. It was a spectacular achievement for any martial artist, but it was truly unprecedented for this American instructor to finally be given his place in the history of Japanese martial arts by such a highly respected and staunchly traditional Budo organization. The Seibukan went even further, however, granting Shihan Crosswell an eighth Dan rank in Hakutsuru Ryu, White Crane Karate, in 2002 for his years of dedication to the style hoping that he might join other foreign-born masters in preserving this precious and rapidly fading piece of Japan's martial arts history. Now highly sought after as one of the world's premier traditional martial arts experts, Shihan Crosswell teaches throughout the United States as well as in Europe, South America, and Asia, headlighting seminars and workshops around the globe. At a time in his career when many other high-ranking martial artists are content to sit back and take a passive approach to their own training, Shihan Crosswell has never stopped actively seeking out new karate, kobudo, and sword information, all the while devoting his heart and soul to nurturing individual students at the Arizona Budokan. Shihan Crosswell is a top-ranking instructor in three separate styles of Shitoru Karate, Motobu Ha, as taught by his first Shitoryu instructor, Shogo Kuniba, Seito, as taught by the founder's son, Kenzo Mabuni, and Hayashi Ha, as taught by his primary and most influential teacher, Teruo Hayashi. As a result of Shihan Crosswell's in-depth knowledge of this complex art, he has been able to offer his students a broad and detailed Shitoryu syllabus unlike any other in the world, some aspects of which are available from no other living instructor today. And now, in an ultimate tribute to the master instructors who have come before him, Shihan Crosswell has finally decided to put a name to the distinct and extensive collection of karate knowledge that he has been patiently building and refining for over 50 years. The name Kurobayashi is a combination of the Japanese rendering of his own name, Kurosueru, and that of his most beloved sensei, the great Shitoryu master Soke Teruo Hayashi. And so, it is with deep reverence for Soke Hayashi and all of his outstanding instructors that Shihan Crosswell continues on his long and tireless martial arts journey, humbly tracing the footsteps of the masters. <laughs>